this Saturday morning. Not a cloud in the sky. We're headed over to Buford Highway Farmers Market in Manila Mart. What is today? November the 12th? 13th? Today is the 13th. Passing through Roswell, Georgia, which is now pretty much just an extension of the third world hellhole that is Atlanta, Georgia. Getting closer. A lot of folks out on this Saturday morning enjoying this beautiful weather. Ain't that right, little Nora? Yeah, yeah, very nice. Coming into Buford Highway area. Known as Little Asia of Atlanta. So we are now in Gwinnett County which is a third world hellhole of its own, independent of the third world hellhole known as Atlanta. It's like a little cluster of little third world hellholes in this area. But I like to come over here, do my shopping for the stuff that you can't get in the conventional grocery stores. Okay, folks, here we is at the Buford Highway Farmer's Market on this lovely, lovely Saturday morning. Not a cloud in the sky. I say it might get uh, down to freezing tonight though here in North Georgia. smell bread or something. Wow, wait, look how huge. There's your green papaya, Nora. And it just grows at Christina's backyard and she, she got rid of that tree. She got rid of this at my house, you know, it's just your house. Limes. I want some. Check out all the different kinds of eggplants. What is that? Chinese? There's Chinese eggplant. Uh, Italian. Small white. Indian eggplant. Philippine eggplant. How much you want to bet Nora gets some of that Filipino eggplant? There's little pickling cucumbers, regular cucumbers, Persian cucumbers. Persian cucumbers. Yeah, yeah, they're very good. Good and expensive too. European cucumber. They ain't got enough bananas around here.
So uh, me and Ella used to eat it like in the Philippines, you know, um, back when we were growing up. I've never seen this in a long time. Well, what the hell is I it? Love this. Wind bean. Yeah. What the hell is wind bean? I forgot what we called it in, you know, Sanguanga. Balimbingan. Balimbingan, yeah, that's what it says. White flour? But I don't even remember. I think we just sauteed it with meat. What is this thing? Oh, that's the banana. Yeah, that's some kind of a banana. Ooh, those are yummy to cook. With a gata. How much is that one? Uh, I, I don't know. With, uh, There's some of that bitter melon right there. That stuff is bitter like lemon peels or pecan shells. Bitter, but very good for the blood. That is some really wild looking ginger right there. Galanga, Thai ginger. Get some. Oh, I can't eat that. That'll light my ass on fire. That will light my ass on fire. Long hot pepper, finger hot peppers, chile caribe, serrano peppers, jalapeno. I'm gonna get some of those jalapenos. This is what we have. Uh -oh. Getting some of that bitter melon, folks. The Chinese kind. Chinese chang chong chang alang. I like me some bok choy. And they got a lot of different kinds of bok choy. There's some yu choy, some Taiwan bok choy, some baby bok choy, some sherry li hom, some choy sher. That looks like nas uh, Napa cabbage right there. Green stuff is good for you because it alkalizes the body and the blood, prevents cancer. You folks who don't eat nothing but hamburgers and pizza and fried chicken, you need to think about that. You're running a very high health risk. You need to eat more of this green stuff, folks. Stink fruit. This is, is it durian? Oh my god. That's the stinkiest fruit ever. Thank god it's not cut. Yeah, on seed. If you want to buy and just keep it in the fridge so when we cook one day, we can just cook it. Uh, if it's wheat noodle, I'll probably skip it because I try to avoid wheat. Oh my gosh, look at those eggs. A wheat flour. Preserved duck egg. That's balut. That's just the, uh, Chinese version of balut, right? Well, see, there's your problem, folks, is they just don't have enough selection on the ginger. Ginger, All they have is China, Ecuador, Costa Rica, Brazil, and Peruvian. So not a very big choice on the ginger today. <laughs> I see some uh, lacon over there. Lacon, right there. Or as they say in English, freshwater prawns. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Thank you, sir. That's a beautiful little creature of God right there. King prawn. Awesome. Heads on snow.
Yeah, smelled her awesome. Scandinavian. Dorado. Bronzini. Pompano. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Black pomegranate. Wow. From Vietnam. That is weird. That flounder right there is product of Holland. Seriously, bro? Holland? Does that mean that they were caught up there in that cold water? Or did a Holland vessel go to another part of the world and catch it? See, that's what I'm wondering. Hey, there's some skate wing. You don't see that very often. And here is a variety of dried salted miniature fish here. Little anchovies. Let's get a good look there. Good, good stuff, believe it or not. Well, looks like Nora finally made it back from the bathroom. Aren't you having some shrimp? Oh, I got shrimp. you got them already. Okay. Did you want to get one of those black pomfret from Vietnam? You can if you feel like. It's only four ninety nine a pound. That's a cheap fish. If you feel like grilling it. I don't feel like oh, grilling it. You can put it in our air fryer. Air fryer. Yep. Whole thing. You can have them. Uh, Clean it and cut it up yeah. into pieces. Cut it up into like four pieces. Chop, chop, chop. No, you can put the whole thing in the air fryer. Just get the small one. Okay. Yeah, get the small one. Sure. On okay, no problem. Folks, little Nora's going to go ahead and get one of these black pomfrets here. That's pretty small. That will fit in the whole air fryer. Yeah, get whichever one you like the best. Just make sure the eyes are kind of clear on it. Make sure the eyes are still good and black. It is. It's not red. No, they turn white when the fish gets old. The eyes are turned white. These look okay though. They look fairly fresh to me. There's some flounder, some snapper, some mo snapper, Caribbean snapper, some striped bass. Some redfish. I like redfish. Some perch. Lots of dried fish here. That's the kind of stuff I like right there. Homie. Dried sausages. Dried fish, dried shrimp. I like kimchi too. Good kimchi. Not all of it's good. This is a pretty good one here, though. <laughs> Hawaiian. I didn't even know this was here. Uh, 
die. Spinach salad. Some of this stuff, I don't even know what it is. Seasoned dried file fish. Seasoned cutanopsis. Salted pollock rub. Actually, I bet that is very, very good. Stir fry anchovy and pepper. That actually looks pretty damn good. Seasoned Japanese seaweed, stir fried baby anchovy and walnut. Wow. Spring roll with shrimp. Squid salad. Pickled ginger. Sushi. California roll. So there's several Chinese aisles. Vietnamese, Thai, Indonesian, and my favorite, Philippines. They even have a little Filipino freezer here with longanitsa in it and uh, lumpia. Wow, Loki's. That feels heavy too. Shrimp cracker, prawn cracker, bawang bonik, shrimp flakes. Boy, they got enough stuff here. Good to see that the Filipino products are still coming in on time. Corn beef, big fan of that. Basimatsi, Marco Pina. Pina Kurat, Datu Puti. Mambasitas. Pinoy sauce, coconut vinegar, oyster sauce, silver swan. We always have some silver swan in our house. That's a good vinegar right there too. Good, good, fine, fine Filipino products. Yes, sir, Vigo, Mega, 555. I don't see any uh, La Victoria sardines. Century. Those are good. Ligo. Hokkaido. 555. Saba. Caldereta sardines and spicy stew sauce. Good, good stuff. Yes, sir. That looks like weed. What the hell? And just when I said they didn't have any Victoria, there's Victoria. French, Italian. Apple cider confit. Oh, those look swanky. $7.50 for that can of sardines? Holy crap. Now this is interesting. Spanish meats, blood sausages, blood pudding, duck leg, wow, Calabrian salami.
those little bitty sausages right there. There's little Alex. And those are his meats. Baby baloney. Little Alex and his meats again. These are good, good sausages right here, folks. I mean, top of the line. Smoked chicken. Good, good stuff, folks. Pickled herring, herring and dill sauce, I like that. Herring and cream, I definitely like that. Lots of neat European cheeses here. We've got some Havarti with jalapeno, Havarti with caraway, Havarti with dill, smoked gouda with bacon, steakhouse onion. Mm -hmm. Not a real big fan of them English cheeses though. Something about the, the English. There's some breeze, mushroom brie, garlic and herb brie. Wow, look at all those cheeses over there. Look at all that. Bakery. Potato and mushroom. Wow. Unfortunately, I try to avoid wheat as much as possible. But if I was going to eat bread, I'd probably eat something like that. Man, that's tempting. That is very tempting. That looks like some kind of sour. Oh, no, no, no. Jewish rye bread. Some of that perestroika bread. <laughs> Marshmallow cookies. Zagadka. Eh? Vinsk. Cookies Lolita. Cookies Oreshki. Here we got some Russian ice cream. Price on that don't look too bad. A dollar nineteen for that little, for that ice cream cone right there. Sure, that ain't that bad. Now, nice, sir. Now we're getting into the little more. Expensive range there. Ooh, cherry cake. You mm, likey. Honey layer cream cake. Well, folks, we spotted one more thing here. Avocado Macchiato, best of the Philippines, San Miguel Gold Label. There's mango, salted caramel, avocado, and mango. Which one you want, Nora? I want the avocado. Okay, get whichever one you want. Okay, we have a huge basket full of stuff here. So it is time. I hope this will not melt. Yeah, we got to get the heck out of here. 
We're gonna put it on ice. All right, that's it. We gotta blow this hot dog stand. You're never done, folks. There's always one more thing. Shall I, I guess. Which kind did we get there? Ooh, there's a beef one right there. folks we escaped with our lives and just under a hundred dollars or right at about a hundred so that's it for Buford Highway farmers market that is now we're headed about two blocks down the street to Manila Mart Nora's got to get some stuff over there Hopefully some dried salted fish because today is beer day for me and I like dried salted fish with my yeah. Looking forward to trying that right there. Garlic plantain chips. One last stop of the day folks. Manila Mart. Gonna let little Nora fly solo on this adventure while I sit out in the car and eat my plantain chips. And then we're gonna make one more stop at the beer store on the way home, get myself something to drink on this lovely, lovely Saturday afternoon. Just look at those skies, folks. Just look at it. It is wonderful here in North Georgia. It's gonna be a great afternoon. So folks, that's gonna do it for today. Little Nora and I would like to thank you for kindly tuning in and watching our video. Now it's time to go have some cold beer and fry that fish. You have a wonderful weekend. See you next time.